In this presentation, we're going to look at permutations. And here's the question we're going to look at. The code to open a combination lock is an ordered sequence of four digits chosen from the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many codes are possible if repetition is allowed? I've set up a little box here just to sort of uh, indicate uh, the amount of options we have for each selection. We have to pick four digits, so that is why we have four columns here. So I'm using ro Roman numerals instead of the conventional ones just to sort of indicate the, that this is the first option. So we have six options to choose from here for the first digit. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. The se in the second case, we have uh, also six options to choose from. We're allowed repeat, so uh, we're allowed to use a digit again, even though it was used for the first option, for the first column. So we have six again, six again, and six again. So the total number of uh, codes that are possible is six to the power of four, or otherwise six times six times six times six, or in other words, six to the power of four, and that is equal to 1,296. Okay, so repetition is allowed here. What happens when it's not allowed? Let's have a look at that. So the code to open a combination lock is in order to, okay, same again, but here we have not allowed, repetition is not allowed. So what's going to happen first? Well, in the first instance, we have six digits to choose from, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So for the first digit, we have six options. But for the second digit, we've used one of our options already, so we've only got five left. So rather than having six options to choose from, we've only got five. So in that case, we have five, and in this case, we have four, because we've used two, so we've only four left. And in this case, we have three. So it is six times five times four times three. And that is equal to 360. Now, uh, just as a remark, I haven't used the P operator here, but if you, when we get to that, if you get to that, you will notice that this is equal to six P four. 360 is the how many codes we have if repetition is not allowed. And that ends our presentation.